assalamu alaikum students uh, i hope you must have uh, revised your previous work and i would like to request you to kindly revise your uh, or practice your work before uh, starting any new uh, topic you revise questions from ne levise uh, whatever the word uh, addition you have so today i am going to give lecture on paired sample t test paired sample t test is used usually for uh, when you are studying before and after study or you have paired populations or you want to study the effectiveness of any program so we use uh, paired sample t test for such things basic assumptions for these test are simple random sample and large sample size or normal population so what is the procedure that we are going to use for hypothesis test for paired sample t test uh, the procedure will remain the same in step 1 you will state your null and alternative hypothesis but here there is a point that should be noted that uh, kindly check the red mark that mu 1 is equal to mu 2 we have two population involved before study and after study or effectiveness of such programs so uh, we have two populations involved we are going to study two populations we have to compare two samples together so there is a null hypothesis population 1 is equal to population 2 2 in alternative hypothesis definitely we have three possible alternatives we can use a non equality sign or a greater than if we want to check betterment of something or after the program of something and for uh, and left tail test uh, with less than sign and uh, then we will decide on level of significance and degree of freedom will be used in step 3 the test statistics is different here you can see there is d dash is used it means that the differences that we are going to find out for the popul from of population 1 from population 2 here we are going to find out the mean of that uh, difference and then uh, we will divided it with standard deviation of the paired differences divided by under root n A standard deviation formula is also given here d means paired differences differences from of population 1 from population 2 and then we will decide on the rejection rule the rejection rule will remain the same as i have told you in the previous lecture of t test that you have to uh, you will be uh, whatever the test you are opting for if you are opting for a right tail test if you are opting for a left tail test or if you are opting for a two tail test you will be using these procedures here you can see um, this is the mark kindly observe it and if the test statistics falls in the rejection region we reject h not otherwise we do not reject h not and then we interpret the result so uh, we are supposed to do an example for your ease uh, let's do an example a taxi company is trying to decide whether use of radial tires instead of belted tires improve fuel economy 12 cars were equipped with radial tires and driver driven over a prescribed test course without changing drivers the same cars were then equipped with regular belted tire and driven once again over the test course the gasoline consumption in kilometers liter was recorded in the table the table which is on the right side of the your screen uh, at the 0.025 significance level can we conclude that cars equipped with radial tires give better fuel economy then those equipped with belted tires assume the population is new normally distributed all right here you can see that there are uh, uh, two type of uh, samples are given the uh, gasoline consumption in kilometers per liter of radial tires 
when the car is used with the radial tires and when the car is used with the belted tires the gasoline consumption in kilometers per liter is given so uh, we are going to go on the next page now what points are to be noted in this example number 1 0.025 is the level of significance and number 2 how we are going to formulate our alternative hypothesis in our alternative hypothesis we will see that it is given in the question that radial tires give better fuel economy than belted tires so we will it means that they are greater than they give greater fuel economy than belted tires we will use that population 1 is better than population 2 or population 1 is greater than population 2 we will uh, assume suppose that radial tires are is equal to mu 1 and belted tires is equal to mu 2 and now we will find out their pair differences pop of population 1 from population 2 radial tires are better than population 2 we will find out the difference their pair difference so the pair difference will be find out and then we will add up in the formula um, d dash divided by standard deviation upon under root n uh, we will divide we will take mean of the pair differences number 1 summation d upon n pair differences of them 0.141667 is the pair difference and then we will find out the standard deviation of the pair differences the 0.159753 and uh, since our n is 12 so we will divide it with the 12 and we get our t answer is equal to 2.4845 so this is our calculated t now we will see the value of the tabulated t test uh, since our uh, n is equal to 12 so our degree of freedom would be n minus 1 11 and we will see what is the tabulated value of 11 in 0.025 it is 2.2009 you can see now our value of the calculated t test is 2.48 now we will see 2.2009 2.48 is greater than 2.2009 so our uh, value lies in the rejection region here uh, it means we will conclude that the cars equipped with the radial tires give better fuel economy than those equipped with the belted tires so this is the answer now i request you all to kindly have a practice of paired sample t test with other questions as well that are given in your neel a wise book any addition 7 8 9 or 10 any addition that you can ha you have kindly practice it from there